All right, here's an interesting story. This is from allafrica.com. Will Kenya allow U.S. drone strikes on local soil? I can just give you a sense of what we're talking about here. Kenya here is in East Central, I guess, Africa. You <coughs> see Kenya's right here. Somalia is right here. Now, it should have Somaliland up here, but it doesn't. To make a notice of Somaliland. Duly noted, Google. Duly noted where you decide. Anyway, that's another issue. I've talked about Somaliland in past videos on this channel. I'm sure, I'm sure you've seen them. What's going on here? Kenya, apparently, they've got that Al-Qaeda case of the Al-Qaeda's. <clears throat> so, the U.S. has been pushing to try to get some 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 they need some drone airports, some drone airfields, whatever you want to call them. Drone air bases. There you go. Drone air bases. They need some bona fide drone air bases for the good of the whole. The United States of America needs to have some drone air bases in Kenya so that it can go about the business of killing the bad guys. Objectively speaking, of course. Now, it's an interesting dilemma, of course, for the Kenyans because why? Why would a sovereign nation state allow another nation state to decide to take life or death, death action with individuals within its borders? Would our nation state consider such a thing? Would you as an American citizen consider such a thing? I, for one, would be not, <clears throat> not more than incensed that the idea of a nation state uh, being allowed to s fly drones in to to kill people i would rather that the nation state would help my people run drones themselves and then our jurors our system decides who lives and dies not some other entity from outside so I would imagine and hope that maybe the Kenyans would say, dude, listen, we're more than happy to help kill the Al-Qaeda's. We don't like them. Screw them. They're jerks. They're more than jerks. Uh, but listen, dude, we don't want you guys to be the ones that are sitting behind your little computers, sizing things up and deciding who lives and dies in, in the great state of Kenya. All right, so this is what the article actually, actually, well, a brief little thing here. The United States military is reportedly seeking permission from the Kenyan government to carry out covert drone strikes targeted at Al-Qaeda-linked Al-Shabaab fighters in parts of eastern Kenya. If approved, it would be a far-reaching proposal that would be for the first time hand Washington military leap first time I gotta go back on my friend that would for the first time hand Washington military leeway to directly conduct combat operations within the Kenyan territory American officials have told the nation newspaper that the US would continue collaborating with Kenya on counterterrorism measures adding that hunting down the Al-Qaeda linked fighters will demand maximum effort. The militant group's activities have reportedly intensified in Kenya's coastal and northeastern regions, where it, where it has deployed local recruits to extort money from civilians. Oh. Like when cops target poor communities and target them for extortion, shakedowns, and points. Points for promotions, which is essentially like maybe even worse than extorting people for for, for uh, money because cops will arrive in poor communities and do more than extort you for money. They'll extort your body into a prison cell that eventually sends you on a work duty and a work duty in which you're being paid, if anything, you're being paid pennies on the dollar and somebody else is making Make a bank on that sweaty sweats, and you've been in there because they caught you with a cup of combination of uh, 
of charges, usually a weapons charge combat combined with a drug charge. That's the best way to really try to multiply the all the sets so that you can maximize your prosecutorial efforts so that you can get the most amount of time out of that that work assigned individual i'll just say prison work assigned individual that's it's i laugh but it's not funny it's not funny so here's a couple uh, uh articles here that 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 shows it's connected to a u.s officials mum amid talk of drone strikes plans for kenya U.S. pushes to use Kenya as its base for drone strikes. Al Shabib militant jailed for attack on U.S. base in Kenya. And uh, Somali, uh, you got regional minister killed in Somalia. I don't know what that's. Why is that thrown in there? Oh, it's in the region, I guess. Oh, oh it's okay. Believed to be Al Shabaab. So it's see, in Somalia, it's just north there. I don't know if you can see. Let's just take it, take it back there. You see there, Somalia just north there. So that's uh, that's related. That's related. And uh, Kenya IED kills three suspected Al Shabaab injures four in Garus. Oh, was that one of those? Yo man, we got this. Yo, we're gonna graduate from the class. Yo man, high five. Boom. Good, good mistake. Thank you. Excellent mistake. Excellent mistake. And I think that's where we're gonna leave this. These are gonna be just. Sure, little bursty burst here like this. So this is, uh, well, can you allow U.S. Uh, drone strikes on local soil? It's interesting that we're, we're just, every, everybody wants to make sure right now uh, that they, everybody wants to make sure that they got themselves in Africa. I guess the rain's down in Africa and the power, the resources. I've said uh, that Africa is the continent of the next century and that everybody is recognizing that's where it's at. It's got so much land and opportunity and with technology being the way it is, we may very well be able to design things in ways that we, we humans can live in, in, the, in, in the misty, heavy, heavy, heavy con continued uh, heat because we've got powerful little thingies around our necks to keep us cool all the time. I don't know stuff 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 is on the way so Africa Africa has huge opportunities to explore and expand and it's it's the place to be it's the place to be in this in this century this century right now and with that I will uh I'll bid you adieu